Do you know what is human cloning? I don't know. Okay, human cloning, uh, back in the year of 1999, um, there was this science report that the scientists already know how to clone a sheep. What means clone? It's like you have a, a mother sheep, and mm. then you take a cell from the mother sheep, and then you copy it. You make another sheep that's identical to the mother. Everything is identical. The shape, everything, the genes, the material, everything is, it's like a copy, mm. like a Xerox machine, right? Mm. Xerox machine, you have an original copy paper, mm. and then you put one copy, two copies, three copy, right? You can come out mm. to be exactly the same. Human cloning means like, uh, you know, there is a human, very distinct, and then you clone someone, it's exactly the same. Mm. Same look, everything is the same. The genetic materials and everything is the same, okay? So it's called a human cloning. And, uh, uh, you know, the technology was uh, already completed in 1999. Human world controlled by alien beings uh, advanced the science and technology to the degree that we were ready to be destroyed. What, how, you know, how, is, how humanity is going to be destroyed by aliens. Aliens first teach human beings how to do this, how to do that, how to do the computer, how to do the science, how to manipulate the body, you know, all very advanced to see how the body works and all that, you know. So the aliens are, are looking at the whole body structure very carefully. The genes, information, everything stored in the computer, you know, gene maps and, you know, all that. Then they started to say, oh, no, this is how God makes human. Oh, we're going to do it too. We know how to do it too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they make human to clone, clone another human. But uh, when the human body is cloned, the body is only physical. In every body, when the body is formed, there is a spirit that enters the body. That's the true existence of, uh, you know, independent human being. We have a molecular machine. At the same time, we also have a main consciousness, which is our true self, enter into the body. But when you clone one, who is going to be in that body? Alien spirit. Go right in. Mm. When the alien spirit go right into the human body, the alien spirit will use the human body so well and they continue to advance the alien science and technology and they have no human nature. See, human spirit has human nature, but the alien spirit has no human nature. When they have no human nature, they are not human. So that's why they will be able to very quickly take over the whole earth. They have, they have no disadvantage of a human's spirit, like attachment to, you know, sentimental love. Aliens has no emotion. They're like, uh, if they want to kill their father, oh, talk about these days in the human world, we constantly hear news about, you know, the parents kill the children, the children kill the parents, right? You ask, them, why did these people, why they don't look like human? Why they are, they are immoral? Who knows? Maybe they're alien spirits in the human body. You know, aliens do not have spirits of human nature. So they have no filial piety feeling. They have no love feeling. You know, attraction between men and women. No, they are totally mechanical and they don't have any human nature. Without a human nature, they will do anything. And their brain their, their mind, you know, they are much more like uh, science and technology wise, much more sophisticated and advanced than human. So when the human being clone a human body, alien spirits take over the human body, they're going to very quickly kill the real human. And then they will eventually wipe out the whole, you know, human, human world. And they will become the true controller of the earth. That was the ultimate purpose of alien introducing science and technology to the mankind. Now, why it didn't happen? Eventually, in 1999, the human cloning 
was shut down, prohibited. And so ever since then, there was no talking anymore about human cloning. But the CCP government secretly are doing that. Mm. Even recently, we heard a report about that. Okay. So, you know, uh, in the human world, uh, we don't know. Uh, there are so many things that are going on in the invisible and, you know, intangible world. But it's one big thing is about science and technology. They are not innate from the earth. They are not part of the plan of our creator. Uh, it is the, the evil force in the universe. They say, you know, the human race, they are already so corrupt. Their moral is down. You know, it's time to wipe them out anyway. So it's a pity that their body is so beautiful. Why don't we just uh, take over the bodies? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's why things just happen like that. But our creator stopped it. 1999, basically, um, our creator started the whole process of saving sentient beings, saving human world. Start to, you know, uh, work on saving human, human beings. And that's why everything started to slow down. Cloning is wiped out. Human cloning is wiped out. And the science and technology on the surface is still going, but it's no longer controlled by the aliens right now. So it's in the hands of the divine. Actually, even science and technology, it's a, something from the universe that our creator wants to save. But uh, it's not going to be for the human. Someday when the whole system is all calmed down, you know, this science and technology will be kept in some way in the universe, but not on the earth. In the future on the earth, science, this whole modern science junk is not going to continue. Hmm. Yeah, the human world will be a new world and the human being will totally return to the original, you know, part of the natural stream. If human world still exists, it's going to be a new human world with a, a new, totally new makeup. And all the pollutions that's caused by the modern science and technology and all the mutations. Do you know how mutated we are now, the human body? Because of science and technology, the genetic engineering of the food, like a Monsanto, hmm. right? Monsanto, they, uh, you know, uh, genetically engineered the corns, right? And then so human beings eat the food mm -hmm. that are already manipulated by the alien technology. And all those are poisons. And then they come into our body, they slowly are making the human body broken down, mm -hmm. degenerated, poisoned. You know, a lot of people have no hair. They mm -hmm. lose hair. Yeah. I was going to ask you why you lose a lot of hair. You know, this is a sign that your body is poisoned. When people's hair lose a lot, mm. most of the time it's because of the aliens, you know, product, the mm. genetic engineered products that they actually poisons our follicles. And that's why the hair fall, falls out. So uh, vaccination, after vaccination, a lot of people lose their hair too. Oh. Yeah. When, like, uh, if your body is subjected to some poisonous chemicals, the first thing you lose is your hair. You see, so right now, the whole earth, why I'm telling you, you said, you know, the earth most likely is going to be eternal, continual. Heaven and earth will be forever. I said, no, it's not going to be forever. Earth is basically going to be destroyed. Because do you know why it is going to be destroyed? Because the alien science and technology already produced way too much poisons. And it has infiltrated into all our water. The water is no longer good anymore. It's totally poisoned. Okay, all over the world. It doesn't matter how purified spring water bottle, whatever. It's all not pure anymore. And nobody can bring it back to the original state anymore. Even God cannot do anything about it because it has infiltrated way too much. So earth is not going to last, this old one. But our creator already made a new one. And the human body, if we don't cultivate, if we don't cultivate and uh, you know have the human body retransformed, this body is not gonna last. 
is not going to be able to enter into the future either. That's why right now you have Falun Dafa. Okay, why Falun Dafa practitioners every day do the Falun Dafa exercises? What is going on when we do the exercises? The body is being reshaped. Human body, right, is being purified. All the poisons, junks, needs to be totally cleaned out. Human body layers after layers of different, you know, levels of particles needs to be all cleaned up and reshaped. And then this body will be able to conform to the requirement of the future world. That's why Falun Dafa, this practice, is being now introduced to the whole world and anybody, if they do not have all the modern science notions, trust me, most people don't want to practice Falun Gong with their notions about all kinds of things, especially those people who only have faith in modern science. They don't want to believe in Falun Dafa teachings. The moment they read about Master Li talk about UFO, they already think, oh, no, no, no. You know, this is something that's non-existent and we don't want to believe. You know, human body transformation, energy transformation, meditation, spirituality, to them, it's no, 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 no. Those people cannot be saved. If they don't have the ability to discern the truth versus lies, if they have faith in modern science and technology, and because of that, they don't want to practice Falun Dafa, and their body is going to be continuously full of chemical junks, all kinds of pollutions, and the body will definitely degenerate. There is no other way to reverse it. So uh, since you asked me this question, I want to make that clear to you. Okay. Okay. Very good.